Uh, who was he? Who was he fighting? Um, he was fighting Shelter. Oh my God, Shelter's a fantastic Bayonetta player from the Chicago area, and MBD just ran right over him. That was like it was not fair. It was not close. Not not that that's an easy matchup for Bayonetta, but also like MBD in particular is such a rough draw for that. I think he made it to, to round two schools only dropping like one or two stocks. Makes like, sense. That's the kind of player that he is. He can really take command of a match. Yep. And now we're going to be getting into a really tough match here against Mirai. Mirai, I believe, is a very strong player from Minneapolis, mm. if I'm not mistaken. So um, same uh, same region as Loaf, then. <laughs> yes. Uh, they, they, you know, he's at least. Um, oh, they. Excuse me. They are at least. Uh, they are at least Midwest. I know that much, but I okay. think it's the Minneapolis area. Let's see if they can live up to their name and create a future here against MVD. Uh, Kazia versus Snake, the question is always going to be, uh, how do I get Snake on the ground? If there are literally any platforms, I mean, MVD is going to sit on the ground to throw some grenades, and then if he's out of grenades, he's going to jump up onto that platform and stop Mirai from getting anything started. That is going to be the story of this match, and that is already what it has been. Listen, I can tell you right now, is Mirai is always looking to gates of hell. I can't tell you how many gates of hell I saw yesterday. Yeah. I believe it was Mirai versus uh, Meadow, Icy's player. <laughs> and every possible instance they could, they were someone was getting gates of hell. One of the two. <laughs> Honestly, that makes sense against Icy's too, because that's one of the grabs that, like, yeah, Nana's actually not going to break that. That's cool. <laughs> like, Oh, that wasn't Mirai, actually. That was Silsi, the, uh, the other Kazuya oh, player. Right. 13 year old Kazuya player, by the way. The match yesterday was. Where have I heard that before? Thir yeah, right. 13 year old Kazuya player versus 17 year old Icy's player. Both of the casters that were casting that game were older than them combined. <laughs> you know how upsetting that I'm older than them combined. Oh, it's good to be young. I haven't had to say that yet. <laughs> You're going to get there, and it's going to feel bad. The only time I had to is when I commentated the 10 and under bracket. <laughs> <laughs> and they were both still probably better players. <laughs> probably. Dude, those kids kids at these games. Oh, woo! Uh, here's one for the old heads. All right. <laughs> Stuck them with the C4 just to up tilt them. <laughs> for good luck, for good luck. Kazuya is, is definitely heavy, you know? Yeah. Big, uh, a big boy. As I, they say. I think Kazi is like sixth or seventh heaviest in the game. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, people who are just regular Cubans are like huge. Because I know, uh, I think he's slightly heavier than Incineroar. And Incineroar is kind of a beefy boy. Which is kind of crazy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But anyway, getting back into this, though. MVD just continuing his dominance here. Going to be able to survive a little bit longer here. Yep. Going for that really high recovery. Going to be dropping grenades. Going to be dropping C4. And it does not matter. Oh, the grenade! Oh my gosh. And the fact that MVD wasn't the one that got put in grenade knockback, it was Mirai. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that when the projectile belongs to Snake or when the grenade belongs to Snake, it has a smaller uh, hitbox for him. Yeah. And it's a bigger hitbox for the enemy. But regardless, uh, that's a tough break for Mirai. Yeah, it was definitely a bit of a weird scenario here. Oh! Oh, okay. That, that's a thing. That happens. Wait, yeah, I didn't consider that the uh, the up B actually has enough damage to just break Cypher like that. Oh. Didn't land on the platform, though. I think MVD recognized that was a really awkward spot for Kazuya to be in to try to convert uh, off of the platform tech chase. So really good DI up onto the platform. You know, Kazuya having a grenade is almost lore accurate. I mean, he is kind of like a really terrible person <laughs> trying to dominate the world. But in Tekken 7, you can actually equip a grenade uh, to characters. It's really funny. <laughs> Just there in the hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, because you can equip, like, these random things so, like, they have, like, that goofy side move. Like, you could give Akuma a shotgun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about the shotgun. <laughs> They're very funny. They're very funny. <laughs> Okay, Electric to do that anti-air. You see Mirai not able to approach MVD uh, haphazardly because there is that C4 on the platform. On the right side, however, much easier. And again, oh my God. does get hit by the grenade. MVD does take the damage there, but yeah, going to read that roll and really just react to it, follow up on it. You so know, solid lead. with all the sins that we've seen Kazuya commit, I can't help but feel bad that he's landing his down B and the grenade is just hitting him and giving MVD a, a free out. I don't know. I, I still I feel like I'm guilty. Like there's some guilt here. <laughs> hey, Hachi definitely put this back up in the game. <laughs> he was just like, "All right, to throwing you in a volcano didn't work. I'm sending in. I'm sending in Snake. Forget about it. I'm calling the U.S. government." Oh my God! Even even in death, Hey Hachi is the is the biggest <laughs> hater. Oh my! Hey Hachi threw him into space. I'd like. <laughs> 
<laughs> attach him and his, and his grandson. Just launch them into space. That, to be fair, Kazuya also threw Heihachi into space. Like, they all went. <laughs> Heihachi did, and, like, they were all just floating in the atmosphere for a while. That's one of the things I love about Tekken is, like, as serious and as, like, like, dark as it gets, there's just so much goofy humor happening in the game. I mean, for God's sakes, there's a bear that does electric wind god fist. And like, that is, and that is Heihachi's greatest son. That is, is his most loved son. He loves his son. <laughs> my my son, a bear. Yeah. <laughs> and not, you know, the, the Kazuya. That's, <laughs> I don't like that it's one. It's so funny. It's, because, like, Heihachi has, like, a few sons and stuff like that. And it's just like, I hate all of you, but this bear. But I this love bear, this though, bear. <laughs> I will take this bear to the grave. <laughs> That's my goat right there. Oh, man. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Well, game one going to MVD. Honestly, ended up really, really close. I think that Mirai was literally just one electric away from ending that game. We saw a conversion uh, into the up B, but the wings just weren't enough to send. Again, the also very heavy snake uh, into the blast zone. I, dude, when I read the, uh, the Prima strategy guide for Brawl mm -hmm. back in the day when it came out and it said Dating Snake yourself. is actually very heavy because he has all this equipment. As like a however old I was at the time, like I was in middle school or whatever, I thought that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Yeah. Actually it's, I was in elementary school. It's definitely a little bit uh, goofy and kind of cool, but then you remember that like U2 is light as hell and that's yeah. not accurate to lore because technically... It's like uh, 220, right? Yeah. Like, U2 is just as heavy as Terry Bogard. Yeah. If, like if you were to actually like take their real stats. However, Terry Bogard is a lot heavier than Mewtwo in this game. MVD, though, heavy enough to keep on living past those two Nairs. Has taken 84% Mirai. Uh, definitely looking solid with a little bit more uh, space to play around. Not as many escape zones uh, for MVD, right? You really only have that center platform. Uh, great for controlling space, uh, but I feel like the bigger thing for MVD in this matchup is running away from Kazuya. Unless he rolls right into that up tilt, and then he can send Mirai and their Kazuya straight into the blast. Oh, he swapped the C4 again. Yeah, I was like, it, it traded between them at least a few times, but like, in that scramble, it landed right back on Kazuya's leg. And that must have been misinput, and just yeah. no punish out of that. But yeah, MVD is just doing a great job controlling all this space here, and it's just not looking good for Mirai. This is, uh, yeah, this is where Snake loves the stage. It's now MVD is just going to dance around the center platform and throw the, all sorts of plastic explosives around him. There we go. Yep. Hey, this is my ledge. There are many like it, but this one is oh. mine. <laughs> that was actually nasty. That Seeing was. that there was the grenade detonation. All right. Get the C4 out there. This is looking like an MVD game. Oh, uh, MVD's starting to, he's starting to sigh a little bit. He realizes how good of a lead he has. He wants to, you know, beat Mirai here with a little bit of a message. Mirai will not go out without taking his stock here in this game, too. But MVD is definitely trying to show off and show out. <laughs> Camera interruption. No, cut back to two. Cut back to two. <laughs> he didn't finish the throw. All right, 141 and uh, MVD, the Nikita technician. Yeah. I Mariah, think they, they just said, I'm not dealing with that. Mariah knew. <laughs> they were like, you got it. My beast. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not making it back. That's fine. All right, well, here we go. Going to be getting into this potential final game between these two competitors. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. All right, looks like, uh, oh, so I was like, are we going right back to Hollow Bastion? But no, we're going to be going to the small battlefield here, which honestly I think is still a pretty solid choice for Mirai. So we'll see how this plays out. Going to be sticking with the Kazuya here. We'll see how it works. For the first time in my life, I'm asking for us to go PS2 for different music. We, we have somehow had the same song, same song three times in a row on two different stages. It's crazy. Yeah. But you know what? You like a song, I give it up. MBD is a boss fight. And this sounds like boss fight. Music. You know what? That's fair. Actually, so you know what? I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm definitely down for that. Like, if you need to play boss fight music or something like that to like put yourself Ooh. in a mentality that you're fighting someone really good, I'm 100% behind that. I love that. I love that. Get yourself in the mood. And right now, I think that Mirai is feeling it. I love what they had uh, with that conversion off of the trying to do the throw, breaking out of it because of the grenade. Did get that follow up afterwards. I think went for the uh, the uh, rising electric off of the crouch. Uh, couldn't find that though. Would have been a great follow up there. But now, <laughs> maneuver around it. Yeah, just, you know what? Hit my shield, bro. <laughs> he did a whole figure right it. there. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Right, a little off to a slow start in this game three. We've got some decent damage. Oh, wait. Oh! Whoa! Okay, I have never seen the roundhouse used to jab reset. That was sick. That was actually really sick. And I was like, I was kind of hoping Mariah was going to do something else with it. And now I'm not sure if it was like a misinput or, or what. But it was definitely pretty dope. 
I believe that it was a misinput, but honestly, knowing that there are layers to that on the platform, yeah. it is crazy to me. I didn't even know that that was possible. I just got excited to see one of uh, not the same five moves on Kazuya for once, you know? <laughs> like, he's he's got the most moves in the game. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's just like real Tekken, though. Like, yeah, that's true, that's true. How many how many times are we going to see Jack A do something other than just toot toot there he is! Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, wait that out. Yep. Oh, what an air dodge! And what an air dodge! Yeah, what an air dodge. <laughs> what an air dodge indeed. In fact, not what an air dodge, just what... That's all. Just what... What an air dodge. dodge. <laughs> <laughs> a comma makes all the difference. <laughs> oh, man. Not butter. <laughs> you literally saw both aspects of, like, a, an amazing air dodge and a terrible air dodge, like, all in the matter of five seconds. Just goes to show the world is not black and white. Air dodges are not good or bad. They just are. <laughs> they just are. They just are. Okay, oh, Electric man. not able to get anything done, though, with all the grenades just ticking down on their timers. MBD waiting for that jump in. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Forcing me to channel my inner sensor. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> oh, shout out to sensor, man. Love that guy. Love that guy. All right, but right now, MBD is... Uh, okay, I was going to say, MBD is running away with this, and even though there is a 74% lead here, this is still Kazuya Mishima. One hit can do it, and that's why MBD is going to sit on these platforms until the sun goes down. All right, yeah. I li I, honestly, I like the dash to the right. You know, if you go towards the ledge, then uh, easy follow-up into a kill. If not, then you just create some distance, and that's always a good thing to have for Kazuya. Yep. Hey, resetting neutral against Kazuya more than, you know, if you have the opportunity to reset neutral against Kazuya, you'll take that. Ten times out of ten. Mm -hmm. A hundred times out of a hundred. Yes. I would say even 101 times out of a hundred. Honestly. <laughs> Woo! And big damage from the Rage Art right there, but it's not enough to take it. So we're going to need to see. Honestly, I'm expecting a Dragon Uppercut that will end this game in either player's favor. The Unless. Crouch. Oh. Yeah, Nikita always going to send the way that you're facing. And that time it's enough to send the Rye into the Blast Zone. A 3-0-W for MVD. <laughs> and uh, popping a little thumbs up. Well, for the like, people. <laughs> something Little happened on the swabbing. side. I, I heard the stage shake. I heard the stage rumble. Yeah, I, 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 don't know if, I don't know if Mariah like stomped or something, but like MVD just went. <laughs> kind of guy he is. That's, that's a mental fresh moment. Yeah. As a, as a player, that makes you feel good. Yeah. I, dude, when people rage uh, against me, I'm like, yeah. That's I don't right. know Mariah. Yeah, rage. that's Every, right. Everything I've seen about Mariah, like. I don't think, I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't every, think so either. Everything I've seen about Mariah, they, they seem to have a very, like, bright, vibrant attitude. Oh, yeah. With everything I've seen, so. But, you know. But I'm just saying, if it does happen, like. Oh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If somebody rage quits on me mid-combo when I'm smoking them, you know, Street Fighter Six, I do some crazy geef stuff. I grab them three times in the row and then, ba-dung, the yep. opponent is disconnected. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like right. yeah. 